Hey everybody, and welcome to Hexile Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got a match of Star Wars Unlimited for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Tapable on the left and Deshuga on the right, we've got Moff Gideon Green versus Lando Red. Moff Gideon gets out a Ularan first. When you play green units, you can heal one from your base, including Ularan. Nothing to heal on this turn one, though. Uh, Lando got down a Rokai gunship, has that when defeated ability to deal a damage to a unit or base, but puts a smuggling compartment on that, so when you attack, you can ready a resource. Here comes the Millennium Falcon out for Lando, comes out readied. Tapable takes initiative, and the Falcon attacks for three, five to two, favoring Lando. Now Moff Gideon likes units that cost three or less. You can attack with one using Moff Gideon and give it plus one attack power. He comes out at five resources. Lando comes out at four, but he's not very strong at a two, five. Command, played by Tapable, gonna buff up that Dark Trooper, I think. Puts it into uh, play as a resource and defeats that Rokai gunship. So Lando deploys. It's a 2 5. Would have to hit that Dark Trooper. Do we have any upgrades for Lando? Y'all got any blasters to smuggle out? Gideon deploys. Has Overwhelm, and each friendly unit that costs three or less gets plus one attack power and Overwhelm. Lando's Falcon is now armed to the teeth. So Lando used their ability, defeated one of their resources to get a discount on Armed to the Teeth. Phase three Dark Trooper. Three damage on Lando. Got two health left. Oh no, four damage because of Moff Gideon's ability. Trades out. Lando takes out the Dark Trooper and goes back to base. Moff Gideon hits for three. Falcon, three, four, five, because of Arm to the Teeth. Unfortunately, if you could have hit the, with the Falcon first, you could have buffed Lando with Arm to the Teeth. But that was not the case. 11 to five. Lando's in the lead. This is a aggressive deck from Deshuga. Lauren attacks for two. Millennium Falcon for five. Nobody to give the arm to the teeth buff from Pyatt's on the field. Friendly non-leader units that cost six or more gain ambush. Wouldn't expect to see a lot of those in a Gideon deck, but who knows? Tech smuggled out from Deshuga. Now all of your resources can be smuggled. Looks like that was Lando's ability, making tech cheaper. Three instead of four. But Deshuka does have to defeat a resource to do that. Moff Gideon. Three damage into tech, who does two damage back to Moff. Timely intervention. Incinerator Trooper Ambush removes tech. Takes nothing back, because if you defeat your opponent, you take no damage. Eight to 15. Can the Falcon do this alone? Look at Lando on four resources. And Lando spins a resource to keep the Falcon out there. Falcon hits for five. Just got to do that one more time. 
Oh, nope, not anymore, because Tarkin is played, which heals one with you, Lauren. Tarkin's going to search the top five cards of your deck for two Imperial cards. Reveal them and draw them. Find an Imperial uh, or Emperor's Royal Guard. Well, we see that get played, yeah. And that's going to heal one with you, Lauren. Lauren attacks for two. Gideon attacks for three. One from Pyatt and two from the Incinerator Trooper. Actually, even more because Gideon is buffing all those up. Surprise strike plus three. So that's five, six, seven, eight. And that is a GG. Lando wins it. With the Falcon. On to game two. All right, game two. Gideon versus Lando. Gideon gets a Ularn out just like game one. Mercenary gunship first up for Lando. We are one up in favor of Deshuga in this series. Ularn's attacking Lando's base for two. Smuggling compartment on that mercenary gunship. Will we see it actually? Ready up resources. Yes, we will. Super laser tech out for Gideon. Gonna be some ramp. And Lando's basically anti ramp. Plays a Cassian Andor for four instead of five. Smuggling it. Is that true? Maybe he just played that. No, that was just played. Because he didn't come out ready. <laughs> and now we've got an Emperor's Royal Guard. It will be a Sentinel because Yularen is an official. Shuga. Looking for something to smuggle. Spins four. No. Brings Lando out. Gideon attacks with the super laser tech. It gets plus one attack power, so three damage into Andor. Puts it in range for a kill from Yularen. We know there's um, Arm to the Teeth in Deshuga's list. That could be something we see smuggled out. Wouldn't want to put it on Andor, though. Put it on Lando. He attacks and buffs the mercenary gunship, maybe. It may not even be what they have. We will see. Two to two. All tied up here. Ooh, gets out a Valiant Assault Ship. <laughs> if the defending player controls more resources than you, this unit gets plus two for this attack. That is a great unit for Lando. Incinerator Trooper out for uh, Moff Gideon. Takes out Cassian. Here's a Cartel Turncoat for Lando. And Moff Gideon deployed. That's going to buff up these cheaper units. Yularen hits for three. Moff Gideon removes Lando. He was just a distraction. Played his role well. A little bit of overwhelm there. Six to three. The Shuga in the lead. 
is a very space heavy deck for Deshuga. Got smuggling compartment on this um, mercenary gunship. So that's one way you can get around the resource destruction of Lando's ability is sort of like Boba Fett. You can get resources back that you've already spent. So that was an attack from the Emperor's Royal Guard. Three damage into Lando's base. Mercenary gunship attacked for four. Valiant assault ship gets armed to the teeth. So it's got plus two attack power and can give that plus two attack. To, looks like the cartel turncoat. Lando ability was used there. Had to defeat a resource to get that out for cheaper. Oh yeah, so Valiant Assault Ship is three, plus two because the opponent has more resources. Plus two from Arm to the Teeth, so seven damage. Cartel Turncoat. Oh, looks like Tapable took the Mercenary Gunship. I don't know that I've ever seen that happen. Cartel Turncoat got the buff from the Valiant Assault Ship from Arm to the Teeth. So four plus Heroic Resolve, five. And Deshuga gets a Rokai gunship out. Wow. A mercenary gunship claim. I think that's the first time I've ever seen it. So that gunship can do four damage. So it can take out anything on Deshuga's side. Overwhelming Barrage. Three, four, five, six damage. So four on the Valiant. Oh, two, five. That's it. GG. Oh, wow. Look at that. Lando with the two and out. Congratulations, Deshuga. Thank you very much for the matches. Capable. This is Scott from Hexile Gaming. Signing off.